Hey guys, it's Jamie from Best Nerd Life. Now I don't know about you, but I really enjoy using my Joy-Con controllers. Now I know that's not the case for everyone. Some people want a traditional controller setup. Then like ramming the Joy-Cons into the grip thing that you get with your Switch just isn't good enough. But what that usually means is you either have to buy officially branded Nintendo Pro controllers, which can be expensive, especially the wireless ones, or you can go on places like Wish and buy a third party one and hope that they work. <laughs> or there is another option for you, especially if you have another console like a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One. All you have to do is buy an adapter to connect your controller from your PS4 or your Xbox One to your Nintendo Switch. And the adapter that I recommend is the 8-bit do USB wireless adapter. Now I've actually used this thing in a previous video where I connected my Nintendo Wii remote to my Nintendo Switch. Now it wasn't like a one-to-one -one perfect translation. You couldn't use the nunchuck, some functionality wasn't there for example, but I got it working and I got it working with very little stress. Now if you want to know more information about the previous video that I just mentioned and any of the products in this video, I'll put loads of links in the description below this video for you guys can check out. With that being said, let's get going. It's really, really easy to connect your 8-bit do wireless adapter to your Nintendo Switch. All you have to do is connect it through USB to your Nintendo Switch dock and it should start flashing a light right there. Now you just press the button below that flashing light and it should start flashing faster. Then you bring your PlayStation controller and hit share and the PlayStation button and it should start flashing and connect. And that's it. That's all you have to do. There's no kind of thing beforehand that you have to do. It's as simple as that. So when I first started using this, I was very confused because I thought it would map, remap the buttons to like X being confirmed and all that kind of stuff. But it actually does, re it just maps them to how they would normally be. So in this case, that's A, B, Y, X, and then etc etc. If we go to controllers then we can see in the bottom left corner it, it's, it's registered as a pro controller basically. And yeah that was a video of me connecting my PS4 controller to my Nintendo Switch. Now I do just want to mention this thing isn't perfect. Some functionality isn't there, you can't connect your Amiibo or anything like that, you can't scan them. I have also noticed in some games this thing doesn't work quite right. For example, I was playing Fire Emblem the other day and <laughs> the buttons worked and all that kind of stuff, but the entire time that I was playing the game, my PS4 controller was vibrating. Um, <laughs> I mean, it was fine, I could play the game, but it was really annoying and I was worried that it was damaging the PS4 controller because I imagine it wasn't designed to vibrate constantly. So I had to go back to using my Joy-Con cell. So yeah, it isn't perfect, but for the 20 pounds or so that you're going to pay for the 8-bit 2 USB adapter, I think it's well worth taking that risk. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then by all means, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, all that good stuff. As always, thank you very much for your time and don't forget to live that best nerd life.